Tennessee Intercourse Practice Test for Algebra 1, uh, and this is question number 18. Now, this one looks really complicated. It wants to know what is the dimension in feet of this side here. Well, what? It's crazy, right? Not really. Look what I can make. Oh, goody. It is a triangle. And I know something about triangles. There's something to do with the triangle in here, and I can find a side with it. So I'm going to look on my formulas page. Well, here's a triangle, and that's the area formula that doesn't help me. There's another triangle. That talks about sides. It's the Pythagorean theorem. So I know at some point I'm going to have to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is a right angle. So in order to find out the sides, I would have to touch the right angle to figure out what to write in the a squared b squared slots. However, I've got to figure out what they would be first. How do I find this distance? It's actually very simple. From here to here is 13. From here to here is 21. So this difference, whatever's left over, is the same as this. So I just do 21 minus 13, I get 8. So I'm going to put 8 right there. I'm making a triangle. It's got an 8. Now from here to here is 5, and to go all the way to the top is 9. So I do 9 minus 5, which is just 4. So there's my triangle right there. This is actually a very easy question now. Touch that right angle. The reason that I do I bother to touch the right angle is because it tells me both of these sides that make that right angle are A and B. So these are both A and B questions. Or these are both A and B sides. So then I do 4 squared which is 16 plus 8 squared which is 64. Eighty. And I have to remember that the square uh, if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, we in class made squares to prove that the size of this square plus this square would fit exactly into this square. So uh, the square represents all of this through here, but x just represents one side. So I need to make sure I do a square root there at the end. Now there's a couple ways to go about that square root thing. Either I can type in square root of 80 and then get 8.94 and then try the answer choices. See how this and this are the same? So the answer is this one. Also, I could just think about uh, finding simplest radical form. What squares are inside of 80? So I'm going to pick the square that's closest to the 80. By the way, squares mean 6 times 6 because it's got a, a width of 6 and a length of 6. That would be 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, so I'm going to do 64. No. Then I'll do um, the next one down would be 7 times 7, which is 49. No. 36? No. 25? No. 16? Yep. So I wanted to go all the way down. So I'm breaking it into 80 into 16 times 5. So I'm going to do the square root of 80 becomes 16 times 5. And I'm going to break it down even further into the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. Well, I know that the square root of 16 is 4. And then I just tag this back on the end. 4 times the square root of 5. So that's the answer to number 18.